Governor Bill Lee's school voucher plan has public educators worried. Last week, we gathered seven district superintendents from across East Tennessee to discuss their concerns. One area of concern is how vouchers have played out in other states. 10 News reporter Olivia Day joining us in the studio to explain and Olivia superintendents here are saying Arizona. It's one example of how vouchers have exhausted a state's budget. Robin, Democratic governor in Arizona, Katie Dobbs, said in a release that there is no accountability for spending on their state's universal voucher plan. In a projected budget from her office, she says the state could spend more than $940 million on their voucher program. These seven school superintendents have questions about Governor Billy's school voucher plan. This is not great. Uh, there's no research that says it is. There's no way that you can make us more successful. These heads of schools have done their research. They say Tennessee's public education funding could suffer like it has in Arizona. It is fiscally killing them um, in education, but they continue to pour more money into it. And, um, and, and it shows that over 75% of the students enrolled in that program were already in private school. This comes from the nonpartisan research group called the Grand Canyon Institute in Phoenix. They found that 80% of students applying for Arizona's vouchers did not attend public school at the time of application. They also say a chunk of these $10,000 a student scholarships are going to the wealthiest households in Arizona. Jennifer Fields from Campbell County Schools says Louisiana's voucher program also had poor results. Latest results have shown that in Louisiana, students have scored worse now with vouchers than they did uh, as a result of uh, Hurricane Katrina or COVID-19. Based on a report from the Education Resources Information Center, in the four years after school vouchers became available, students had worse reading and math scores. Right now, Tennessee's school voucher plan is budgeted for $141 million. Public education has $300 million set aside. We have more clips from that roundtable discussion up on our website, WBIR.com, and on our YouTube page. Robin? Those numbers are revealing. All right. Thanks so much, Olivia.